Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about what Pairwise is and how you can use Pairwise to learn to code. If you are interested in learning to code or if you're currently trying to learn to code, you're in the right place. So right here we are at the very first intro module to Pairwise and in this intro module we have about 10 different challenges going through some of the basic types of challenges that we have in the Pairwise curriculum here. So we talk about HTML, CSS, basic programming, and then we also have a challenge on React.js. And then in the rest of the course over here, you can see that we cover a ton of other topics, including TypeScript, how to work as a developer, async programming, APIs, front-end development, back-end development databases, mobile, and then some other topics like testing software, refactoring and debugging, and how to deploy software. So what you have here is a full curriculum of challenges and projects, which includes everything you need to know to learn the skills to be a developer and then to actually get hired as a software developer. Now to dive in and just show you what this looks like, we have this pairwise challenge workspace environment, which actually has you writing code to solve real challenges. And when you get further into the curriculum, there are hundreds of challenges like this, which you can use to build up your skills. And then each of these modules has some projects at the end. So by the end of the course, you will have a full portfolio of projects, which you can host on an open source code sharing platform like GitHub. And you can use that portfolio to present to a future employer. So that's what pairwise is. And if you are interested in learning to code, or if you're thinking about going to a coding bootcamp, or even studying computer science in college, or going back to college, or anything like this, I would encourage you to take a look at Pairwise, because this course can be worked on at any time, from anywhere, and you can learn all of the skills here in one single place to get started on your journey learning to code, and then becoming a professional developer. So with that, I will get out of the way and encourage you to go on and move forward into the next lesson, where we will actually start immediately writing some code and solving this challenge. Hello, Pairwise. Okay, with that, I will see you there.